Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, I wanted to say, um, if you're waiting for the truth about medical care in Italy, please be patient. Pete is slaving over a hot uh, computer editing it right now, and we are just going nuts trying to get that one up. It's a little more complicated to edit, but oh my gosh, it answers all your questions all about what to expect for medical care as an expat and as someone just visiting. So it's exciting. But I wanted to touch on the Searching for Italy with Stanley Tucci and his episode on Calabria. Now I will say I, wa I watched the episode and the cinematography was stunning. The drone work, amazing. Of course, Calabria, what can you say? It's just beautifully, beautifully done. Um, I also want to say that his family was really, really charming and I loved them a lot. Um, however, uh, after I watched his video, I, I read a, a, a critical article by some guy who loves Stanley Tucci. Um, and he's saying, well, you know, fa uh, Calabria failed to capture me and I would have avoided it. It, 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 it. And I'm like, you've never been there. You, it, what, you take one video and you're like, oh yeah, I'm never going there. Why? That's stupid. You should see it with your own eyes. You should taste it with your own taste buds. You should hear it with your own ears and smell it with your own nose before making a statement like that. Anyway, um, I did have a few issues as you can see, cause I'm starting to get red in the face. Uh, with Stanley Tucci and his take on Calabria. First of all, that video left me way more questions than answers with regard to organized crime in Calabria. Now, he was down there near Tropea. Tropea is very far south from us. There has been organized crime in the past, apparently from what I understand from Nick Meta, from Adriano, the chief of police in Scalea, from Ivan, from Antonello, they don't come up to the Riviera de Chedri, probably because there's only super savvy sardines up there, not big fish that they might be used to. Uh, in any case, he was talking to a farm owner, a lady who bought a farm and she wanted to do this form to table thing. And it was all very nice. Um, but then she started getting threats. They burned her farm down, cost 200,000 euros in damages. Um, and she said that, uh, he said, is it for money? And they said, no, it was for control. The control of what? It's a farm. What are they going to control? How you plant your crops? Where you sell it? What? I don't get it. So that question was not answered. Secondly, for seven years this went on. What happened after seven years? Is it still going on? Is it still a problem? Did you handle it? And if you handled it, how did you handle it? I want to know. Okay, so that was my one uh, gripe right there. Uh, there just was a lot of unanswered questions and strings to pull to get the real poop on the thing. Okay, then there was the restaurant owner. And again, yes, it was very terrible, horrible, horrible threats on this guy. It was awful. Um, and I agree it was awful. But he's, uh, Tucci asked, well, how did you handle it? Well, I denounced them publicly and my restaurant was full. Well, you can have a restaurant that's full all day long and you're still not protected. A full restaurant doesn't protect you from organized crime. So what happened? Did they give up? They went, oh, you denounced us publicly. If we shoot you, they're going to come after us. What, what happened? I want to know. Um, and is it still going on? I know back in the 80s, it was incredibly brutal back that, at that time period. And they were public, you know, out in public carrying on these horrible hits and whatnot. And it's just terrible, terrible. But in our area, that hasn't been going on since, what, the 80s? You know, long time. And uh, frankly, with the super savvy sardines, which is starting to become super savvy salmon and very tasty, uh, I would have heard something by now. I would have had a demand. And again, you know, if you're thinking about the car thing, okay, the car got uh, set on fire. Okay, I get that. There was no demand. So it's not organized crime. And there's a lot of other reasons. In fact, we know who it is. We know why they did it. Moving on. Um, in any case, uh, I really, really take issue with somebody who paints the entire region with a broad brush that's negative like that. Now, when Pete and I first came to Calabria, we're like, oh my gosh, you know, all these kids are going off to different areas to work because there's no work here. We're going to bring work here. We're going to bring people. We're going to bring jobs. We're going to bring opportunity. We're going to bring money. And we're going to make it so that there's a huge economy here so that the kids don't have to go off and work. That's been our goal for the last 11 years since we got there. And we're finally starting to make progress. So, Mr. Tucci, 
uh, sorry, but I'm not happy about you painting Calabria with a negative brush. Now, on the other hand, if you'd like to answer my questions about what happened with these guys, is it still going on with them? Did they find a way to handle it? What's the deal? Are they looking behind their shoulders every day? Are they protecting their kids? Why didn't they move out? Blah, blah. I could just go on for days with all these questions that are just begging an answer. I'm frustrated with that whole thing because it's going directly against what we're trying to do in Calabria. We love Calabria. There's no more beautiful place on earth than Calabria. He's eating the onions right out like apples out of the field. Like, where else can you do that, you know? I mean, come on. So, and uh, to any critic that criticizes Calabria without ever having gone there or who, or who comes with some sort of fixed idea that they're never going to change despite their own eyes, their own nose, their own ears, their own experience, then I don't have any time for you. So, there you go. There is Chris Sobolev's reaction to Stanley Tucci's Searching for Italy episode on Calabria. And uh, I think I made my position pretty plain. So see you guys soon.